Hey, what's going on guys? So, uh, first and foremost, you know, Merry Christmas to all those. Uh, welcome back to work. Today was Dress Down Tuesday, so I went ahead and uh, I wore my favorite, the uh, the Titans. I, I just, I like I like the emblem. That's that's. A, I, I don't really know much about Titans. I just I like the way it looks. I know we only have a couple of days on the job, then we're going to New Year's. So let's just get this mobile suit inspected, and we can ship it out so that way it can go into uh, the next skirmish, whatever that may be. But today we're going to be taking a look at the super custom Zaku F2000. Oh, I, I feel like a literal child made up this name. It, it's it's quite ridiculous. Why is it why does it need to be super? What is it the version two thousand? I don't know. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Now this Zaku is going to be based on the Zaku two F two type. So that's actually a little bit better, better of a name. You know, it's not going all crazy. It went from F two to F two thousand. I don't know where that name came from. But anyways, that's the base, and if you want to get these particular parts for this mobile suit, you can go ahead and get to New Type HQ, and you can order some parts off of their website. Uh, we can just get it all shipped over here at the hangar, and utilize any replacement parts that we can. So check out the site, they should have a couple of Zaku's on there. I'm pretty sure they don't have the F2 or the F2000, which I don't think, because this is pretty unique. Um, they should have other Zaku's somewhere in there. Now the pilot and the scumbag who named this mobile suit is Tatsu Shimano. Look kid, if you're, I, I don't know if he's out there, but god damn it, choose a better name. Don't just go straight for super, ultra, dynamic, ultimate. This, this isn't a goddamn Street Fighter game, alright? Just, just Zaku 2 F2.1, I don't know, but that, that's better. It's better than goddamn super custom Zaku F2000. Ultra Force Arcade Edition. <sighs> Anyways, the height of this mobile suit is going to be 17.8 meters, so kind of your average Zaku height. And then we got the weight of 200 metric tons, so a lot heavier than your average Zaku. The armor is going to be polystyrene plastic. I think that has to be a typo. There's no, there's no way that it's plastic. I'll go ahead and I'll look into that. There's, there's no way it's made out of plastic. That would, that would be ludicrous. <laughs> That'd be very much ludicrous. All right, so let's take a look at the details. Oh my God, this is a beautiful looking suit. Like the name may be stupid, but the kid did a, just a banging job on this design. It looks fantastic. The colors, the weaponry efficiency, thruster output, the armor. This is peak Zaku, my boys. So, I don't think there's one person in here that can say otherwise. Alright. I'm glad the hangar manager wasn't in today. Because if he would have said anything negative about the Super Mega Ultra Dynamic Zaku 2 F2012 Super Arcade Edition, I probably would have murdered him. It is a beautiful, probably the best Zaku design out there today. So... Yeah, it's a done, done and closed case. Details, superb. Now articulation, look. <laughs> Woo! We, we, look, we gotta make some sacrifices, okay? So the articulation, it's not a safety concern, okay? I'm not having any concerns about the articulation because it does have the maneuverability possible to get to A, to B, and to do the battles. It does a lot of hovering, so I'm not really concerned about its legs moving in more than a 90 degree angle. It's fine as is. It has hovering capabilities. So let it hover, let it you know thrust in space. It's gonna be fine out there. It doesn't really need to use all of its arms because it does have other ways to get its weaponry deployed. And most of its missiles that's already on the body, it's, it's, it's fine. The articulation is fine even though limited. Now just to wrap up all the hangar stuff before we go out there and uh, start looking at the weapons and get all those uh, tested, you know, I don't really have much of an issue with uh, the colors, uh, you know, the, the purple black, it's just, it's just peak perfection, honestly. And I, I, I wish we had more purple in our mobile suits, you know, it's, it's just really a beautiful color. Um, so I do encourage any of the manufacturers out there to, hey, make more purple, alright? 
it's a, it's a beautiful color, for Christ's sakes. So that, that's just kind of like my last final notes, but so far, from the details, from the articulation, I'm not seeing any kind of uh, deficiencies in the safety department. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and shoot out to the field testing site and uh, let's test these weapons. Oh boy, here we go. We're out here in the testing site. I'm ready. I'm ready to see what these weapons have to offer. First thing we got is going to be the mounted machine gun. It's going to be on the left arm. Whew. Sexy. Just, just, just peak perfection. Next is going to be the four three-tubed missile pods. Next we're going to have two of the two-tube missile pods. It's going to be located right there on the chest. We have one large heat hawk. This thing is just massive, can be stored on the backpack if necessary, but oh Christ, it is, it is glorious. That is a beautiful heat hawk. Next we're going to have is the 120 millimeter Zaku machine gun. Basically a kind of more generic machine gun. Next we're going to have is the 90 millimeter Zaku machine gun. So just another machine gun in the arsenal. Both are mounted on the uh, arms that are located on the backpack. He's going to have some hand grenades right there on the skirt. And lastly, a shield, but this is... Why even have a shield? You're, not, you're never really going to use it. Let's just be honest, guys. You're going to have all your weaponry. The armor itself is basically a shield. It has like all this reinforced armor, so... The shield... I wouldn't even worry about that. That's just... That's wasting an arm. Use that arm to utilize it for something else. Grab another machine gun. But, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for uh, all the weapons. And... Christ Almighty, this is a beautiful, beautiful, just assortment of weaponry. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done with the inspection. I don't have anything else to say about this. Look, I, I didn't really hit it on much of anything, and I'm, I'm not going to lie. I got a little favoritism for this thing. It's it just, it looks so good. I think a little bit of touch up here and there, but, oh, man, it is. This was honestly an honor and a privilege to do a safety inspection on this mobile suit because so few people have this. This is just one of those very unique mobile suits that if you have it in your, you know, your hangar, if you have it in your little army, you're you're going to win wars. All right, this is a war winner right here, baby boys. So uh, I, I think all of you kind of need to um, have a little a little show of appreciation for today. All right, this is a goddamn Christmas gift. It's a Christmas gift to all of us to have inspected this mobile suit. But other than that, no safety deficiencies whatsoever. I, I wish I could just give it a little good old slap in the ass, you know, a little attaboy. But uh, it's a giant fat ass mobile suit. I can't, I can't reach that far. That far. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you all for being here for the inspection. And uh, just stay, you know, stay around if you want uh, milk and cookies. We got that on the table. Uh, for all y'all, but uh, yeah, I'll be seeing y'all in the next inspection. Uh, probably going to be next week uh, once we get done, done with the New Year holidays. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, thank you all. Happy holidays and uh, happy New Year. See y'all later.